How's it going everyone? In today's video we'll be talking about how to get the most performance out of your iPhone photography. I'm sure you all know the brand Apple which make the iPhones, so here's one here. This is an iPhone 7 Plus I currently use as my daily driver. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into my top 5 tips on how to take amazing pictures on your iPhone. Okay guys, tip number one and that is focus. Okay, you may be like, oh, we all know how to focus. But here's a tip you may not know about the focus. To normally focus, you just simply tap onto the screen where you want to focus onto, what subject you want to focus, and you'll just get a little small box with a sun icon to the right of it. Now here's the tip people may not know. You can actually lock your focus and exposure. The way you do that, instead of tapping onto your subject, just simply hold down onto the screen for about one to two seconds. And on the screen you'll get a big yellow box and at the top of the screen it will say AE slash AF lock. Okay guys, tip number two, exposure. I bet some of you didn't know you can actually control the exposure on your iPhone. So what you need to do, tap on the screen as if you're focusing, then you'll get the yellow box come up and a yellow sun icon to the right of When you see the sun icon, what you have to do is slide your finger down the screen, then you'll see the picture gets darker and if you want to get more light in and let the exposure go up you just slide your finger up that's all you do it's a very simple tip okay guys tip number three stabilization i'm sure not many people use the timer if you don't know where the timer is go out, just go onto your camera app and it's the fourth button on the top row you can either choose to set the timer on for three seconds or for 10 seconds this is a great feature because you set how long you want either 3 or 10 seconds and it will count down and automatically take the picture after the set time. This is good because sometimes when you press the shutter button on your iPhone you can sometimes kind of shake the camera a bit. So if you're going to take the picture you might press too hard and then you might move the phone a bit and it might be a tad blurry. Number 4, a studio. Everyone says to take amazing pictures you need a studio. Don't worry. I know that 99% of you people watching this won't have a photography studio. All you need to do is find a room in your house with the best lighting. For example, buy a big window. If you don't have good lighting or you're outside and need to change the lighting, then here's a really good app to do that. It's on the App Store and it's free, and you can add your own lighting and even smoke onto your images. It is free, but it comes with a few lightings and lens flares, but you can pay more to upgrade to get more but there are many good free ones, you'll be surprised. Number five, angles. This one may sound simple and silly, but the angle you take the picture from really transform your image and make your image a whole lot better. As you can see this flower in the garden by the fence, I could just simply take a picture above, just from like waist height, just looking down. But here's a few cool snapshots of me taking the same flower with the same iPhone, just at different angles. And you can really tell the difference and see how much it transforms your image. Okay guys, I hope that really did help you out and you did learn something new about your iPhone photography. If you did, please make sure you smash the like button and that subscribe button, that would really help me out. And also do comment below if this tip video did help you out in any way. I'll be definitely uploading more videos to the channel. I want to do camera reviews, camera lens reviews and even Instagram tips and tricks. Also, as we're on the topic of Instagram, please do follow me, link in the description, or just type in at autofocus images. That would really help me out and I really want to get my work out there. So please do follow, please do like. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.